We find that the climate system is relatively insensitive, consistent with the, the big uh, graphic that was shown earlier, uh, where it showed that we're not warming nearly as fast as the IPCC climate models suggest we should have been warming. So the point is, a lot of evidence now is, is being amassed, which suggests that the climate system is simply not as sensitive to our addition of carbon dioxide to the atmosphere as most scientists think it is. Uh, I also want to say, since we're talking about most scientists, you know, I've, I've heard 97 percent, 98 percent. There's a recent paper by John Cook and co-authors who looked at thousands of research papers which have been published in the scientific literature to see what fraction, you know, support the scientific consensus on global warming. Well, it turns out that the 97 percent consensus that they found I am indeed part of, and Senator Sessions mentioned he would agree with it too. And my associate, John Christie, he agrees with it. In fact, all skeptics that I know of that work in this business all are part of that 97 percent because the 97 percent includes people who think humans have some influence on climate. Well, that's a fairly innocuous statement. And that's something that continually annoys me is those of us that are called deniers, it's never actually, uh, I think the D word was actually used by the chairman today. Uh, it's never actually been pointed out. What is it that we deny? Uh, also, you know, this 97%, well, what does the 97% consensus mean? You know, what do all of those people agree to? Well, they agree to something fairly innocuous. And it's something that most of us agree to, that humans must have some influence on climate. The question is, how much? And how much influence makes all the difference in the world if you're going to be pace, uh, basing policy decisions, carbon taxes, regulations, legislation, whatever, on them. It makes all the difference in the world uh, exactly how much warming we can expect due to human activities.